Tesla is on the verge of unleashing chaos into the automotive industry with its highly anticipated Cybertruck. After enduring a multi-year delay, the Cybertruck has faced its share of skeptics, dismissing its distinctive sharp angled design and technologically advanced features as beyond belief, doubting if it would ever see the light of day. However, to the surprise of the naysayers, the first production versions have now become a tangible reality as they've begun rolling off the assembly line and customer deliveries are confirmed to take place before the end of the year. Elon Musk himself has teased that the impact of the Cybertruck's arrival will catch everyone off guard, with nobody expecting the magnitude of disruption it could bring to the pickup truck market. While it hasn't sunk in yet for everyone, Ford Motor Company is addressing this matter very seriously. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, Ford is already taking drastic action, slashing the price of their F-150 Lightning EVs by up to $10,000 on the very day of the Cybertruck's first release candidate announcement. Elon Musk isn't kidding around when he says the Cybertruck will look far into the future and bring that technology to the present. This prospect leaves Ford and other top pickup truck manufacturers in the dark, facing uncertainty as they have the most at stake in this rapidly evolving landscape. Brace yourself, for the Cybertruck is about to wreak havoc in the auto industry like never before. And before we continue, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and have a look at our website, themarketisopen.com, where we have instant stock quotes and a brand new set of quarterly financial data going back up to 15 years on over 9,000 stocks, and it's all freely available. The Cybertruck was first unveiled in November 2019, with production of the dual and tri-motor variants initially slated to commence in late 2021. However, despite the Cybertruck's two-year delay, the pickup truck industry appears to be frozen at an effective standstill like a deer caught in the headlights of an impending Cybertruck. Companies like Ford, Stellantis, and General Motors, which completely own the current pickup truck market, have been talking a big electric game, but have so far failed to deliver any meaningful numbers. Ford sold 4,291 electric F-150 Lightnings in the first quarter of the year, with GM delivering just two Hummer EVs during this time. Even startup Rivian is outpacing both industry juggernauts, with almost 8,000 deliveries in the same period, demonstrating that being experts at building combustion engine vehicles hasn't aided in any way, although all of these companies still lose money on every electric vehicle sold. Elon Musk set out to reimagine the pickup truck, drawing inspiration from sci-fi movies and pushed for something edgier than the automotive market has seen before. This led to Cybertruck's stainless steel planar design, since the cold rolled steel can't be stamped like traditional cars as it breaks the stamping press. However, this spawns a scratch and dent resistant vehicle, similar to a tank that can outrun a Porsche. And now it may wreck the industry in the same way that it can leave its pickup truck vehicle peers in the dust. Tesla shared its first release candidate last week, which indicates that the truck was successfully built through the entire production line process. This development is scarier for competitors than the truck itself, since it signals Tesla's readiness to scale to mass production. Given their impressive track record, they're highly likely to outpace established automakers like Ford. Ford has been delivering F-150 Lightnings since April 2022, over a year ago, but hasn't seen any meaningful production increase during this time period where the vehicle has had the entire electric pickup truck market virtually all to itself. Tesla is currently cycling through release candidates, making small tweaks to the vehicle's design and to the factory machinery that builds it before they settle on the vehicle that they want to truly mass produce. But the equipment is operational, and when Tesla gears up for scaling in 2024, they'll eclipse other electric pickup truck sales and begin to make a dent in the internal combustion engine versions. Ford's $10,000 price slashing of the F-150 Lightning on the day the Cybertruck's release candidate was unveiled 
isn't a coincidence. It's evident that consumers are eager for the Cybertruck, and as we discussed in our previous video, the F-150 Lightnings are piling up on dealer lots. And so consumers who were looking at what was available now on the market were previously only seeing F-150 Lightnings, Rivians, etc., but will now shift their orders towards the next vehicle becoming available, the hotly anticipated Cybertruck. As Sam Kors of research and investment firm ARK Invest notes, the popularity of the Cybertruck on Google Trends surpasses even that of the Model Y, which recently became the best-selling car in the world. During Tesla's second quarter conference call, Elon Musk went as far as saying, demand is so far off the hook, you can't even see the hook. With an estimated near 2 million pre-orders for the Cybertruck, it's likely that Tesla will take at least a few years to fulfill them, especially if they produce just 250,000 Cybertrucks per year, the estimated target of the Giga Texas production line. However, given this overwhelming demand, Tesla could decide to increase investments in production capacity, which will further decimate the existing ICE pickup truck market. Now, one of the biggest reveals during Tesla's recent second quarter conference call was that the company is preparing to launch the next generation of its 4680 battery cell, which they're calling the Cybercell, and it seems to be specifically designed for the Cybertruck, at least so far. The Cybercell will have 10% higher energy density than the current battery cells being produced for the Model Y. Now, interestingly, Tesla's senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering, Drew Baglino, says that this was accomplished through process and mechanical design optimization. So it's not some sort of new chemistry that they've implemented, but rather looks to involve a next generation production line of 4680 cells that contains further optimizations affecting the battery design itself. This appears to be quite significant since it will also positively impact Tesla's future production lines from here on, allowing them to build more battery cells but also to boost the range of vehicles even further with the same number of cells, or put in fewer cells, saving costs for the same range. And Tesla hasn't even yet implemented some of the important innovations and processes that they talked about on Battery Day in 2020, including the in-house cathode production and their integrated silicon methods. These innovations will still be coming down the pipeline in the near future. And so there will be much more room for further gains in energy density and cost improvement with these further enhancements leading to lower Cybertruck prices down the road. But for now, it looks like the current cells are sufficient for Tesla's Cybertruck release plans from a technological standpoint. Now, Elon Musk has always spoken about there not being a point in releasing a new type of product if the company was battery constrained, since it would be pulling batteries away from one product and giving it to another, which would actually hurt the company's profitability given the extra overhead of a second product. But since Elon Musk is moving forward with a Cybertruck, it looks like they have all of their ducks lined up in a row with enough battery cells for Model Y, including from suppliers. Giga Texas makes its own 4680 cells, which find themselves within Model Ys, and production has been progressing quickly with Drew Baglino stating that between Q1 and Q2 of this year, there was an 80% increase, accompanied with a reduction in scrap by 40%, helping costs of goods sold drop by 25%. That seems massive in terms of cost cutting to be able to produce that many more cells, but at a fraction of the cost per cell. In terms of the battery's energy density, Tesla says that it's meeting their targets for like-for-like -like electrochemistries, meaning that the new 4680 batteries are performing much better, as they expect, compared to the same chemistry in a different type of cell. Also based on the Q2 conference call comments from Drew Baglino, it looks like Tesla may have changed their mind. It was thought that 4680 cell production was on pace to keep up and to stay ahead of Cybertruck production. But now it looks like all of the cells Tesla is currently producing will go towards Model Y, and the new Cybercell production line will be starting from scratch, but aimed at the Cybertruck, albeit with a higher energy density. Tesla is planning to scale Cybercell through the end of this year into early next, 
at which point they will see favorable costs per cell. That said, Elon Musk has emphasized once again that Cybertruck production will move at the rate of the slowest part, which is something to be aware of when bringing up a new production line for batteries. However, based on Tesla's previous ramp-ups, they normally don't deliver too many vehicles on their delivery day announcements. 30 vehicles has been fairly common for the company, and then the ramp-up is very slow during the first few months. Tesla has confirmed that deliveries will very likely begin this year, and then the real ramp-up phase will be in 2024. With all of the new technology going into Cybertruck, it's likely that it will be slow to produce at first. Battery cells is one thing, but also this is the first time that Tesla will be developing 85% of the controllers that go into the vehicle in-house, up from 61% on the Model Y which means they're going to be ramping up production of many new components that they haven't traditionally made, and each of these has its own S-curve shape ramp up. They of course all need to line up, but balancing this is always a challenge with a new product. However, once Tesla gets going, these in-house controllers will allow for better integration and to reduce costs as they scale since they're cutting out the middlemen. One of the cool things about the Cybertruck is also that it doesn't require any paint shop. Tesla showed at their investor day event that to paint the car, they need to assemble the vehicle, have it painted, then disassemble it by taking off things like the doors and other components, basically bake them dry in a separate area which takes up space, and then later reassemble the vehicle. Cybertruck gets rid of all of this. No painting robots, no paint itself, and much less factory floor space required. That's one of the things Tesla means when they say it's designed to be manufacturable. Plus the benefits that come with this for the consumer is that there's no rust to worry about since it's a stainless steel body. It's scratch and dent resistant and it's super strong, bulletproof to a 9mm bullet. But this process, or lack of process, saves many steps, increasing the speed at which Cybertrucks can be made. And so while the ramp up could start slow due to all of the new technology that Elon Musk has emphasized so many times, once they cross that initial hurdle, they'll have more control over each component and the truck should be much faster to make. No other automaker has anything like this and that's why Tesla is seeing unprecedented demand. Tesla originally designed the Cybertruck to beat the Ford F-150 in every way and then some setting their targets on the best-selling pickup truck in the world by having the Cybertruck pull it up a hill in a public stunt. The Cybertruck is tougher, faster, it has an automated tamper door for its vault, and uses a 1000 volt architecture the same as the Tesla Semi for much faster charging. Tesla even matched the dimensions of the F-150 vehicle. However, ever since the unveiling of the Cybertruck, Elon Musk has spoken about making the vehicle 1-3% to smaller, and in the recent conference call, it appears that he succeeded in achieving this. The Cybertruck is the first truck ever, according to Elon, that will have 4 doors, an over 6 foot bed, and will fit into a 20 foot garage, which is a typical standard length garage. This is a big deal for many customers, and a big selling point. It looks like Tesla tried very hard to make this happen since they previously touted a 6.5 foot bed and that seems to be slightly smaller now to get the best of both worlds. The garage aspect is a big advantage since it helps in harsh winters, no need to clean off the car, security reasons as well, and for better conformity to standard destination parking spots whether indoors or out. And so the Cybertruck has sort of become a one size fits all vehicle which is one of the major intentions in order to propel it into the top selling position. Now according to CFO Zach Kirkhorn, the single most important priority is to ensure that Tesla continues to make heavy investments in core technologies driving long term value, including the Cybertruck as well as next gen vehicles and the Tesla Semi. Despite this, Elon Musk acknowledges a slight production decrease due to summer shutdowns for various factory upgrades globally. This won't affect the Cybertruck at all, since it's barely in production, but will allow Tesla to reorganize and revamp their factory, preparing for the Cybertruck, ultimately leading to higher production in the following quarters. 
Looking ahead, Elon Musk believes that the health of the economy will be a major factor in driving demand volume to new heights, which bodes well for sustained long-term Cybertruck demand. Additionally, Tesla mentioned that they're currently reaping the benefits of declining aluminum and steel prices, which will also become major inputs into the Cybertruck production process, helping to lower its price. While the pricing of the vehicle has not yet been re-announced, inflation has sent everything much higher. Tesla's best bet, which Elon Musk alluded to not too long ago at the end of 2021, was to start with a four-motor variant, which wasn't even an option when the original configurator was made available. Tesla has always started with the highest end, most profitable models. And in this case in particular, it's a great strategy since Tesla can set the pricing to whatever they want without disappointing anyone since no one has an order for a four motor variant. They then allow reservation holders to change their orders if they want and then ramp up volume as they wait for costs to continue to fall before releasing and pricing other variants with fewer motors. It's evident that the year 2023 belongs to the Cybertruck. The Q2 earnings slide deck speaks volumes, usually displaying a variety of pictures from Tesla's different Gigafactory operations. But this time, every single photo is dedicated solely to the Cybertruck, showcasing its undeniable significance in Tesla's accomplishments. Elon Musk's excitement is palpable, as he eagerly anticipates the Cybertruck becoming his personal vehicle. Remarkably, this enthusiasm has been unwavering since the truck's inception. The demand for the Cybertruck has been nothing short of impressive, cementing its position as a true game-changer in the world of electric vehicles. Consumers appear to be flocking in from various segments, including previous pickup truck buyers and other ICE vehicles like SUVs. This unprecedented surge in interest has the potential to wreak havoc in the pickup truck market creating a seismic shift that could prove devastating for ICE automakers. So do you think the other pickup truck makers are in trouble once the Cybertruck scales up? And when will Tesla's Cybertruck volume hit a meaningful level, say 100,000 trucks per year? Don't forget to watch my last video on if Toyota's solid state battery can compete with Tesla. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that helped us support our channel. By joining us, your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.